hi everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing in my today's video i shall be sharing with you a recipe for the summers you all know it's a very scorching summers we need to keep ourselves very cool both mentally and physically so one of the best plants to use in the summer is the aloe vera plant you can eat the pulp of this plant make juice of this plant uh, pulp and use it but uh, uh, i would be using it as an oil form when applied on your body or on your hair this will not only help to grow your hair but also helps to keep it cool uh, good for all um, tension it relieves tension uh, it also preserves the body temperature and uh, therefore it's a very useful plant so i'm making use of one of the leaf of the aloe vera plant where i have cut it open to expose the pulp once i open the pulp uh, there is a sap which comes out so i am keeping it in an inverted position so that all the sap the orangish sap comes out and this leaf is ready to be used i am making oil so i have a process of uh, making this oil i am using a fun method i am just uh, slitting it open aloe vera contains vitamin a c and e it also has a uh, folic acid which helps to uh, keep the um, scalp uh, cool and also helps to uh, grow the hair long and thick if your chosen uh, aloe vera leaf is bit thicker then you can make two slits into that and you can see that the pulp is thick enough uh, there is no orange sap now because it is all been drained out so this is good for use the next ingredient is fenugreek seeds when used in hair care routine may help to reduce hair loss stimulate hair growth uh, reduce dandruff and also scalp infection it also revives damaged hair so it's also a cooling agent when used along with uh, aloe vera it has a very great benefit for your body and for your hair so i'm just uh, dropping in all the uh, fenugreek seeds into the slits which i just made it, the purpose of doing this is to soak the fenugreek seeds with the juices of aloe vera so if you have made two slits drop in that also at least uh, two to three tablespoons of uh, the fenugreek seeds is what it takes to make this uh, oil so this is how you need to put uh, press, press everything tightly into the slits so that uh, you can fit in maximum amount of uh, fenugreek so once it, this is done you have to close it tightly and uh, keep this in a place where it you can germinate it so for the purpose of germinating you need to give that humidity for that i am taking a cotton cloth make sure you are using a cotton cloth not a polyester or a synthetic material so just wet the cloth and wrap it around so that it provides the required humidity and it helps the fenugreek seeds to sprout if you find the cloth has dried then spray some water this will help for the Uh, germination of the seeds after one day of uh, keeping it in this position you can open to see what's the scene so open it gently you don't have to hurry up because you may drop all that so uh, this is a very nice way of making some uh, oil you would feel happy because you are doing this that's the purpose otherwise you can simply scrape uh, scrape out the pulp of aloe vera and use it to so as you can see the fenugreek has uh, sprouted and there are few which have not sprouted also but that's okay but it has soaked up all the juices of uh, aloe vera and it is uh, giving you the maximum benefit of uh, all the ingredients which is being taken so this is ready to make into oil i have used this oil earlier i have made uh, made use of this method and i have uh, given the oil to my family and friends they really enjoyed it and they like the benefits of this oil therefore i am making it a video i'm for the video sake i'm just make, making use of one of the leaf of aloe vera if you're making in bulk or if you're making in big large quantity you can take uh, one or two uh, leaves so just scoop out the fenugreek seeds like this along with the pulp which you can uh, uh, scoop out well taking out the pulp it's quite messy be careful when you're using knife also so just uh, take out the leaf the upper part of the aloe vera and uh, only the gel is required so scoop out gently
so here i have got a uh, 1 cup of uh, the aloe vera and uh, fenugreek uh, seeds so this is uh, uh, good enough to made into oil so for now the method is simple you need to just uh, grind it and make into paste if you are having uh, uh, if you are using a large quantity of this you can store this in the refrigerator as it is for a few days uh, make it whenever you want you can freeze it actually so to make this oil i am taking a thick bottomed bowl where i am going to transfer all these ingredients into it that is the aloe vera and the fenugreek paste and i am going to uh, use a double boiler method for that uh, as usual i have a pan where i have placed it on the stove and uh, once it heats up i am going to place this bowl of uh, the contents and i am going to let it boil uh, the oil would be uh, i am using uh, Uh, mustard seed mustard oil 50 ml along with uh, kalonji oil 50 ml uh, the total quantity would be 100 ml of oil for the amount of the ingredients which i have used if you are using uh, any other oil it's okay like coconut oil or olive oil whatever but for uh, the purpose of this uh, method of making oil i'm using mustard oil along with kalonji oil so this also provides uh, that um, effect of the coolness to the oil so cook the oil or heat the oil in low flame until it bubbles uh, it takes at least uh, 10 minutes for the for this to come through you should uh, make sure that uh, the ingredients doesn't stick to the bottom uh, keep on stirring it continuously and uh, once it is done you will find that color as a uh, color of the uh, aloe vera and the fenugreek has changed to light brown so that means it is done and even the oil becomes light so that is the uh, indication that the oil is done cool it and you can strain this once it is strained this oil is ready to be used you can use it whenever you want you can also store this oil for more than 3 months at room temperature when using you can just warm a little bit of oil apply all over your hair and leave it overnight you can shampoo the next morning you can also apply it over your body just before taking bath you can apply it for 10 to 15 minutes and you can take warm water bath this will relieve the tension of your body uh, once you come out of come in, come from your daily routine daily work from the sun come to the house from the sun then you can apply this oil over your hair and uh, you can as usual shampoo it so this will really help uh, to relieve tension and uh, anxiety uh, not only that it will also help to grow your hair keep your hair long and strong it will keep your hair healthy free of dandruff free of hair fall and uh, it's uh, good for all ages uh, this oil can be used for kids above 10 years also try this and see how it works if you like more such diy please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching